Steve here with Hobby Farm Guys, back today with another Spotlight video. Today, we take a closer look at an old spotted pig that may earn a spot on your Hobby Farmer homestead, the Glockester Old Spot. Don't go anywhere. The Gloucestershire Old Spot, or simply GOS, is a historic pig breed known for its distinctive white coat with black spots. Like many breeds originating before the 20th century, the exact history and composition of the breed is unknown. The most likely origin is a pairing of the original Gloucestershire pig, which was a large off-white pig with floppy ears and wattles, with the unimproved Berkshire, a sandy-colored pig with prick ears and black spots. Other potential genetic Contributors include the Lincolnshire Curly Coat and the Cumberland Pig. All four of these pig breeds have now gone extinct and no longer exist today. The first pedigree records of pigs began in 1885 with Berkshire pigs. Although cattle, sheep, and horse registries had existed for some time, the pig was a peasant's animal, a scavenger, and was never highly regarded, and as such, not tracked. In 1913, however, the British Board of Agriculture announced a livestock development plan that included the licensing of breeding boars. Subsequently, the GOS Breed Society was formed in November of 1913, placing the breed as the oldest spotted pig breed. Originally bred in the Berkeley Vale of Gloucestershire, England, the pigs were selected as excellent foragers and grazers. Thrifty, GOS pigs were able to make a living from pasture and agricultural byproducts such as whey from cheese making, windfall apples and orchard, and the residue from pressing cider. These easy keeping qualities gave Old Spots the nicknames Cottage Pig or Orchard Pig. British folklore claims the large black spots are bruises caused by the apples falling on them as they forage the floors of the orchard. The breed boomed in popularity in Great Britain just after World War I, and they reigned supreme throughout the late 1920s and early 1930s, revered for their flavorful meat, plentiful lard, and bristle hair. However, following World War II, with the shift to intensive pig production and away from animal-based fats, GOS pig popularity and populations plummeted. By the 1960s, the GOS faced the same prospect as those breeds it had originated from, extinction. Dedicated breeders in England and the U.S. preserved the breed, which is now regaining popularity in numbers as hobby farms and homesteads embrace this historic, hardy, self-sufficient pig. GOS pigs are medium to large size animals, predominantly white in color with black spots. The black spot is mandatory for the breed and there must be at least one spot on the body to be accepted into the registry. The spot should be black but not blue. The head is long with a slightly dished nose. The ears are large, nearly covering the face. Legs are strong and straight. Mature boars weigh around 600 pounds and sows up to 500 pounds. Known as a thrifty pig, it excels at foraging. Add to that the gentle, docile nature of the pig and you begin to understand why they're so popular with many homesteaders. The creme de la creme for this pig may be its mothering ability. GOS pigs have frequently been crossed into other pig breeds to try and improve litter size and mothering ability. The GOS pig excels in this department, being known as excellent mothers who raise large litters out on the pasture. So if you're looking to add a pig that's hardy, easy going, easy to care for, and that's an excellent mother, take a look at the Gloucester Old Spot. If you have another pig breed or any breed of hobby farm animal that you want us to spotlight, let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, don't forget to like the video, it sure helps us out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, please click that subscribe button. It's free and helps us bring you more content like what you're seeing now. And as always, happy hobby farming.